Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer for the next episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so this is for episode 9, aka Timeless, that is what it's titled. We got the new trailer, and this continues on from this week. Obviously, how we ended up this week was crazy. You had... Nora turning on Team Flash, and this was kind of expected, however, like I said in my review and on my stream the other day, it came across in a different way, like we didn't expect it to be this brutal, like she straight up just killed Fuerza, like suddenly cuts that scene, like she shoots a whole bunch of lightning at Fuerza and Fuerza dies, and in this trailer, they confirm, yes, Fuerza is dead, and so this episode is highly going to be continuing on from what we got at the end of last episode and we're going to see Timeless Wells return. He's actually not in this trailer, however it's going to be a continuation with him coming back. And so also in this video, just to start off, we're going to quickly talk about Carlos Valdez and Tom Cavanaugh who have been announced to be leaving the show. But if you do, a couple of days ago, literally before the Flash episode aired, so I didn't have time to make a video, but I thought I would combine it into this video, because we are talking about Wells and what could be Tom Cavanaugh's last episode. So, yeah, it got announced the other day, Carlos and Tom aren't coming back. This wasn't a big surprise, it's been a long time coming, I've addressed this on the after party and on my stream yesterday. However, my overall thoughts is, not surprised, However, it's going to be a shame to not have them around, and this doesn't mean that they will never return, because like, Tom wasn't even a series regular this season. He ended his run this season, but has been coming back with guest spots, like, just recurring every once in a while. So there is a possibility that he could come back, and that Carlos could come back for like, one or two episodes a season. However, Right now, they've just officially said, okay, we're not doing the contract anymore, you're not going to be a series regular, but Eric Wallace has specifically said that they are more than happy to have them back, like, whenever they want to. So that's kind of what's going on, and I don't think anyone is surprised, however, a lot of people are quite upset, and this doesn't mean, like, The Flash is ending, you've got so many cast members, and people have been speculating for the longest time that Chester was first introduced to replace Cisco because they thought Carlos was going to leave very soon. And now you've had that Chester episode, I don't think it's the biggest deal. Like, yes, it's a shame that Cisco isn't going to be around. However, Chester will fill that spot, and Chester's actually really good. But the question is, like, who's going to fill the Tom Cavanaugh spot? And I think the answer to that is, frankly, no one. And I do think that that is the biggest loss right here because, yes, you can replace Cisco for Chester, and Chester's very good. However, we don't have that kind of replacement for the kind of vibe that Tom Cavanaugh brings to the show as the different worlds is. However, I'm holding out hope that he's still going to return and that Carlos is going to return as Cisco at some point before The Flash ends. Obviously, we don't know what season The Flash is going to end. Lots of people have been speculating. However, we've not got any definitive answer. We know it's definitely going to go on to at least season 9, probably season 10. But, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the trailer for next week's episode. So, episode 9, titled Timeless. Like I said, this is the episode where Tom Cavanaugh is going to be returning as Timeless Wells, aka Original Timeline Wells. And so, he's back in this episode, and Barry is going to be speeding off, and definitely time traveling, that must be noted, so the Flash will time travel next episode, to go to wherever Timeless Wells is cooped up. Because the last time we saw him, he said he was going to go back in time, and like, live his life over and over again with his wife, Tess. So Barry goes to him to get help because he doesn't know what to do with the Speed Force, because you have to remember the Speed Force is so powerful, like, compared to Barry, she is like, ten times more powerful, or probably even more than that, and now she has killed Fuerza, she's probably gonna go after all of the different forces, that's what's gonna happen in the next couple of episodes leading up to, I think episode 13 is the final episode for the forces, sometime around there, and so she's gonna be like the main big bad of the first graphic novel, and we've been speculating about this like I said many times, however it is good to get confirmation, and now we kind of know where this graphic novel is kind of headed to, and it seems like Team Flash is going to be protecting the forces 
and the speed force is going rogue and the speed force is going to be trying to get them, kill them off, absorb them, so they are the only force. And Tom Kavanagh's Timeless Wells is the only answer in this situation for Barry. But let's go ahead and get into this trailer. So the first shot of the trailer you see Nora, aka the Speed Force, and she looks like she's completely lost. Actually it looks like she's sped outside because you can see in the background all blown out. That is some grass or like some bushes or something. And she looks very lost. Like just look at her eyes and this is a close up obviously. And it kind of is emphasizing that she's kind of lost it and she is a bit disorientated, I would say. You can tell that from this shot. And you've got over at Star Labs, Barry, he's kind of freaking out with Iris about what to do in this situation because this is something quite unprecedented. And Barry talks about how he's been manipulated by her and Iris is arguing that she is also a person and that, you know, we shouldn't use force against her or anything or anything too brutal really. But then Barry is arguing against that, saying that she isn't a person. So I guess there's going to be a kind of moral dilemma in this episode where they figure out what to do with the Speed Force, like how far can they go. And this leads on to Barry running outside on top of a building. I don't know if that's a new shot or not, but it leads on to what happens next. And this is a direct continuation from last episode's cliffhanger and you have Nora in this shot facing off against Barry in this next one and Barry screams at the speed force about how he's supposed to protect people as the Flash not destroy their lives and so this is obviously going to be the main conflict because you cut to the next shot you see a dead Fuerza on the ground Cisco is also kind of freaking out you see this shot right here but going back to what Barry is doing he is going to have this complete dilemma of like okay this is the Speed Force, the person that powers me. I need the Speed Force. But at the same time, she's literally just murdered someone. And it is a human after all. But she's been taken over by a force, but it's still killing something. And that goes completely against everything that the Flash stands for. And so Barry is going to be stuck between these two places. And this is going to be like a big theme throughout this episode. And Barry's going to be tackling with this the whole time. And so we go to this next shot, and now this is very interesting. So this is a tachyon device, and it's all rusted up. So I'm wondering, how has the tachyon device rusted up? Well, it seems like Barry's probably going to use the tachyon device, and it's probably going to rust up and break in this episode, because the Speed Force has control of Barry's powers, and probably is going to overheat and overdo the tachyon device which will probably end up like this so that's my kind of theory i don't know if you guys agree with that but we know from this other trailer they released literally yesterday that he does wear the tachyon device and this seems like it could be afterwards where it's been destroyed and sabotaged by the speed force okay so let's continue with this you got barry right after this and you cut to a shot of the speed force freaking out with her lightning obviously she has the red, yellow, and blue lightning that is coursing throughout her. Again, I don't think there is a correlation with the forces because she hasn't got the other forces yet. But I think, like, the colors in general just means, like, she's super powerful, right? And I don't think it's how we theorize, like, she has already absorbed the other forces because we know those forces are coming back. And she has the color of the strength force already even before she killed them last episode. So we have a bunch of reactions. You see Cisco on the left here, and they are looking over presumably the dead body. Chester is back in this episode, which is very cool. And then the final two shots of the trailer is of a conversation between Barry and the Speed Force. And once again, they're probably just arguing and continuing on with what we got at the end of the episode. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, I'm going to have a really interesting video that might actually come out before this. But for now, you can click at the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see